stop what you're doing. I am going to share with you how you can gain the trust of your social media audience and uh, why it's so important to get people to trust you in growing a brand and business. So if you are growing a business online or offline, this is going to pertain to you, but I'm going to specifically speak to those of you building a brand on social media. So it's super important to gain the trust of your audience. If you are building online, um, it can seem a little tricky, but I'm going to share with you several tips on how to gain the trust of your audience on social media and how to do it quickly and simply. So here's the thing, guys. Why is this important? When your audience gets to know you, they will start to like you. When they start to like you, they're going to start to trust you. And when you are known, liked, and trust, people want to do business with you. They're going to want to throw their credit card at your face and tell you to take all their money. Um, so that's what I'm going to share with you today is how to gain the trust of your audience through social media with several simple, simple things that you can do. All right. Say what's up as you hop on. My name is Liz Medley. For those of you that um, have never caught me live, what is going on? So happy to have you here. Uh, every episode that I do, I give you the gift of the written version of my live. Some of you comprehend better by reading. Some of you don't have pen and paper to take notes. Some of you think I talk too much and you would rather just read what I had to say. So what you can do is just comment two words below, Liz List, and let me know that uh, our Lulubot will message you and she'll give you the written versions. But let me know where you are watching this from. Let me know that you can actually hear me because I am coming live from my computer on Facebook. So if you are watching this, on YouTube, IGTV, Liz List will not work, but know that you can always go to lizmedley.com and find all of my trainings there. So what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I am excited to share this topic with you. And it's very, very simple, um, the steps that you need to take. So go ahead and share this to your uh, favorite groups where entrepreneurs hang out, share it to your chats. If you are part of the Messy Buns in Business, drop an MBB below. I um, also want to give a shout out to Pretty Social. I see a lot um, of you affiliates on here. This is going to be something that you all can really, really benefit from. So hello, hello, hello. All right. Um, if someone could like maybe give me a heart or something so I know that you can hear me. <laughs> I'm still not seeing um, any of the comments and interaction going on. So let's go ahead and get started and dive right into this. Um, so I'm going to share with you some simple tips on how you can gain the trust of people watching you on social media. And so they start to like you, they start to know you, they start to trust you. And when you have all three of those elements, um, people are going to want to do business with you, okay? They want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. So here is the first thing. Um, so if you have been following me for a while, you know that I teach a lot about building a personal brand, okay? And so on your social media profile, it needs to be a picture of you of your face. No matter what you're doing, I'm all about building a personal brand. And so people want to see your smiling face. They want to see your face with no damn Snapchat filter. No goofy filter that smooths your face so much that it looks like you don't even have a freaking nose, right? People want to do business with people who look like them, not cartoon characters. So it is 2021. It is time to ditch the filters. Stop taking your pictures through Snapchat. Stop using the built-in filter on your Android that makes you look pretty. Stop it. Just stop already, okay? Um, people want to see what you really look like. If, you, if they see you in public, they should be able to recognize you, okay? They need to be able to recognize what you look like in flesh versus what you look like online, okay? That is going to be one of the simplest ways to start to get start to gain that trust and getting people to feel like they know you. Show up 
online and offline as the same person, okay? You picking up what I'm throwing down? All right, if somebody in the comments would drop one, make your profile picture your beautiful face with no damn filter. It's 2021, guys. Like, stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I think I've been saying that, though, since, like, 2015 or something. <laughs> stop it. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going on to the next one. The next one is telling stories. So storytelling is a great way for people to get like get to know you and feel like they really know you on a deep level and get to know you very well. Um, one of the ways that um, Pretty Social does this is we have a content calendar. And on Thursdays, guess what we do, folks? We do a throwback Thursday. A throwback Thursday, this is a quick and simple way that people really get to know you well. They get to learn about you, and sometimes this triggers emotions with them. And when you can trigger an emotion with your audience, you're going to be more memorable. You're going to be, um, they're going to get to know you, right? And so maybe it makes them laugh, maybe it makes them cry, maybe it makes them be able to relate to you and know exactly where you're coming from. So this is a very, very simple way to gain trust through social media is by doing a throwback Thursday. And um, again, when people get to know you, they're gonna like you, because you're likable. People that watch me are likable people. You're kind people. So when they get to know you, they're gonna like you. And when they like you, they're gonna start to trust you. And when they know, like, and trust you, they're going to throw their credit card at your face, okay? That's what my friend Molly Mahoney always says. They're going to throw their credit card at your face. All right. So that's the second thing. Start telling stories. Tell stories, okay? Uh, let's go on to the next one, and that is creating high-value content. High-value content um, is going to, I sure hope you guys can hear me and see me. I think I say this every week because <sighs> can't go live on my phone. <laughs> Never see the comments coming in until they are done. It seems like, um, so before I go on to this next one, if someone could type below number two, tell stories, telling stories. Maybe you're telling stories even about customers or telling stories about something silly you did. But telling stories. All right, number three, someone can put this in the comments. Number three, create high value content. So, creating your own content with things that you like, things that you love, things that you know about is a surefire way to get your audience to learn more about you, to get your audience to like you, to get your audience to trust you. So, maybe you give them advice or you give them tips or you give them tricks. Uh, maybe you even just share a beautiful picture of a sunset or you share um, three ways to do something. Like I'm always trying to add value on this page, right? You guys know I go live every Tuesday, 10 o'clock, and I put effort into this. It's like, okay, what is my audience asking? What do you need to know? What, uh, what can I provide to you, right? So I'm always giving tips and tricks. But I'm also sharing pictures of my daughter and telling you values I'm trying to instill in her, right? So create your own content. Share sunsets. Share your views. Share things that you love about your children. Um, teach something, right? You all have something valuable to offer. Maybe you knit. Share how to knit. Um, share what you knitted, share why you liked in it, like create your own content. Okay. Create your own content. Um, and when you create your own content that has value, you're going to build trust. People are going to throw their credit cards at your face. And before you know it, your branded business is growing. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap this up again. Comment Liz list below if you want the written version of this episode. Thank you for everyone who shared this. Um, I want you to show up as yourself and I want you to be vulnerable on social media. Share stories, share the good content, show your smiling face. Okay. Don't try to be like anybody else. They're already taken. Show up as you show up as you people will like you. Okay. I promise. Um, and when someone likes you, they're going to trust you. You guys, 
And when they like, no one trusts you, game freaking over. When you can crack that code of getting people to see who you really are, seeing your funny quirk, seeing the things that you think are weird, like be weird. It's okay, we're all freaking weird. We are all weird. Channel your weirdness and show up as that person online. Uh, because I promise to you, it's game over. When you make that happen and you make, you channel that, game over. Your brand and business will blossom. It will bloom. It will flourish. It will explode. Um, you'll start to have influence over other people's buying decisions. Right, you're gonna, your business is going to and brand will influence how people spend their hard-earned money, and the thing is, they're also going to become a raving fan, and they're going to tell all of their friends about you. All right, listen, I believe in you, and my wish is for you to believe in yourself. I'll see you next Tuesday, same day, same time, same place. All right, peace.